Urologic surgery has evolved dramatically in the last 10 to 15 years. Particularly minimally invasive surgery is allowing us to do far more complicated procedures, far more complex reconstructive surgery with less invasive techniques. Robotic surgery is part of an incredible advance in minimally invasive surgery. In urology, we've been doing minimally invasive surgery for a long time where we can treat a lot of different procedures through the urethra, up through into the kidney uh, without making any incisions. We adapted and really urology was the first area to use robotic surgery uh, widespread and I is probably still the major user of robotic surgery in any specialty. Radical prostatectomy was pioneered as minimally invasive technique. I was part of the group that started doing laparoscopic surgery 20 years ago. Robotic surgery has really enabled more surgeons around the country to be able to perform these complex procedures. We've been very involved with the development of and, and implementation of the newest models of the robotic uh, instruments and, and finding the best uses for that. And we recently have upgraded to the, the latest versions of the robot, which really have improved uh, efficiency, improved safety, uh, allow us to do more complex procedures uh, more reliably. And we've, it's really been an exciting time to be able to offer these less invasive, very complex procedures to our patients, and robotics has been a big part of that. What's amazing about the minimally invasive techniques is that you can get a small camera deeper into these spaces with greater magnification, greater control, our assistants can see the same thing that we're seeing. And in many ways, you have to relearn anatomy because of the view you have is so different than what you learned as a medical student doing dissections, even as a trainee in surgery doing open surgery. We can be very creative about the approaches to how we manage things, to how, how the, the anatomy actually is a little different than maybe what we'd learned. So it really is a neat, creative uh, opportunity to rethink some of the standard dicta of what we've been learning in, as surgeons. There's an amazing opportunity still with the technologies. We all know our phones are amazing, all the technology just changes dr dramatically. And there's the opportunity of linking the robotics with MRI scans, with CAT scans, with guidance systems, with being able to look at things not just in visible light spectrum, but with, we have already, in, uh, what we call green light magnification and highlighting. And there's just so many ways where these, uh, these opportunities are going to meld very well with robotic surgery and with the technological platform.